it's not a game, it's a rich thing. Welcome back YouTube, this is Licensed Car Reviews and we're back again for another video and today we have my 2015 Chrysler Town & Country. Um, I don't usually do minivans but I'm doing it today because everybody is not out for a race car, everybody is not out for something that's sporty. If you have a large family, family of four kids like I do, then you might be in the market for something like this so let's take a look let's see if I think it's a good deal I've owned this vehicle for four years um, so without further ado let's look at, take a look at some of the features and wonderful things on this Chrysler minivan another thing don't forget to like the video because it helps the channel to grow don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to click on the show more box in the description because it will actually have my full thoughts on this car and it will also have a loss and score and the price and some of the details that we just don't have time to give you all the time in the video so um, that would help a lot thank you okay so starting out at the front of the vehicle we have pretty decent styling this car is not as stylish as the Chrysler Pacifica uh, but it does do still look good with the uh, chrome at the front and it has you know regular halogen lights it doesn't have LEDs or anything like that it does come with fog lights at the bottom um, but it's not bad styled let's take a look around it does also have kind of chrome a chrome look on the uh, mirror caps 17 inch wheels that are actually very easy to clean and if you take a closer look it does come with the turn signals and it comes with uh, blind spot monitoring and heated um, wing mirrors so that is quite a nice feature you have chrome down the side my particular model does have tinted windows, 20% uh, at the front and then the standard tint that you get on the car uh, around the back. The back of the car is where I think it's kind of blend and other minivans definitely do a better job but it's still not a terrible looking car. You do have a single exhaust outlet there and the car does not sound the greatest because as I said it is not a race car. You get the standard Chrysler Dodge key fob um, it does have remote start you do a double press on this button here beeps twice and then the car starts right up you also get automatic lift gate hit that button twice everything pops open and you get automatic doors on both sides you give that a double press and this is where it comes in handy for the kids because everything just opens up by itself so while you're holding your uh, stroller or your pumpkin seat you don't have to stress about it the one feature I wish it had that it doesn't have is I wish you could walk up to the car with all of your groceries in your hand and kick the bottom some have that and it opens up but if you take a look you have a very deep trunk space so you can fit plenty of grocers in there and it is a three row car so you have regular seats in the middle all leather and then you have a bench seat at the back which are both decent size and if you take a look over here this first row of seat, or second row I should say, does have heated seats, but the back row does not. The back row does not have heated seats. I am six foot four, pretty tall guy. And if I get in 
the car with my seat all the way back, you can see there's more than enough leg room. So this front seat is all the way back and I still have a good two inches to two and a half inches of leg room. I'll do it for you. I'll get all the way in the back row. Let me squeeze back there. This is where my older kids sit. And you can see there's enough room. There's about another inch between my knee and this middle seat. So there is plenty of room for two large people on this back seat, but there's not really very much room for a third, even though a third is supposed to be able to sit back here. It's a seven seater. Some other features that the car has is it does have these um, window shades all the way on the back here and it has them on the middle row too so that's a good feature and you can get this car with two TVs in it but the model I got only has one so this is a storage for the headphones you get one one storage up here two and then you get a third one and you get the headphones which are a really good quality these are the Uconnect headphones that go with the DVD player and I really like them and the batteries hardly ever die in these things and then as you move up to the front this is where the actual DVD player is and it's pretty good quality you can get these with a blu-ray player also um, interior is very similar to the newer Chrysler Pacifica there's not very much difference at all in my opinion and I've driven that vehicle too let's take a quick look at the interior at the front you have the typical steering wheel from Chrysler there's a great thickness to this steering wheel I wish that it was a little bit of a smaller circumference but it does feel nice you do get chrome on these gauges which is also awesome and you get your standard electric door locks which is pretty much standard in every Chrysler Dodge vehicle I really like the gauges on this car because you get uh, analog gauges with the nice chrome around the edge but if I go ahead and start it, which to start it, you put your foot on the brake and then you go ahead and hit this push button start. You do also get a digital speedo readout. And just to give you an idea of the gas mileage, this is our daily driver for as a family car. And we average about 21.7 miles to the gallon. But when we do highway driving on a family trip, we averaged almost 28 miles to the gallon, which is really good when you have a car that has six people filled in it. You do get this nice analog um, clock. And on this particular model, the steering wheel is heated and both these front seats are heated and you do have dual climate control. And you have your typical uh, Uconnect system that comes on the slightly older models of uh, minivans and Chrysler Dodge products. The only thing I don't like about these is the Bluetooth, I feel like doesn't work very well. Um, there's always a delay if you're like watching a video between the words and the movement of the mouth. You do have glasses holder up here and you've got large pockets for storage. You got two cup holders here, two cup holders there That's for four cup holders. You've got a new, another two cup holders here. You've got cup holders in the door. You've got cup holders in that door. So there is plenty of storage, not to mention you have a change holder down here, lots of storage. You have a 12 volt and you have another two 12 volts at the bottom. Um, and you have USB connectivity inside of the glove, glove compartment. The car does come with a 3.6 liter Pentastar engine, which does make between 280 and 290 
100 horsepower so it is quite a decently powerful car even though it's a minivan and the one last feature I want to show you before we take it for a drive is the practicality with how the seats can all fold down in this vehicle so as I said I actually think the interior in this car is quite nice with the all black leather you can't go wrong the only wear in this car on the leather has been on the driver's armrest and that is really easy to replace just from a scrapyard somewhere the rest of the seats are all in really good condition and trust me when I say my kids do not go easy on these seats anyway in order to fold down all the seats so that you can have full capacity and storage and as I said before look in the description where it says show more and I will have how much this car can store with the seats up and how much it can store when they're all st stored away as far as uh, cubic inch so first things first you do have to slide the driver's seat all the way forward so that this seat has room to stow away okay secondly you're going to pull up the floor mat we'll take it out and by the way these seats there is a latch here if I can find it and they do slide forward and back in order to give the passenger behind a little bit more leg room if they need it so you lift this piece up you fold it up stays there and then in order to get the seat away you're gonna lift this handle let me use my foot it's very easy to do hold on there's one thing I forgot which is to move the armrest down okay let's do it again lift it and now the seat is all the way stowed away simple as that look how much more room is in here and I have used this vehicle to move all kinds of stuff the second seat you do the exact same thing move the seat all the way forward and use the same controls the seat disappears in the back of the car so very similar you press this with the number one makes the headrest disappear then you go ahead and press the number two button and the seats will flop down and then you press the number three and pull it all the seats are stowed away look at that super easy just to give you a bit of a look look how much more storage space is now in the vehicle it's a ton of storage you can move a lot of stuff when you stow away all the seats so okay let's go ahead close everything up and take this vehicle for a spin automatic close on the back can use the key fob automatic close on the door it's very nice and these Chrysler Town and Countries are probably one of the most reasonable priced minivans especially since the Pacifica is now out and it's a newer model of minivan for Chrysler so you're really picking up Dodge minivans in Chrysler town and countries for a very reasonable price at this point. one thing that I would suggest is if you're thinking about getting a sunroof for this vehicle you do have to consider that the car becomes very loud I have 
driven this same vehicle with a sunroof and not one I've driven multiple versions of these and the sunroof for whatever reason it makes the wind noise a lot louder in this vehicle so you do have to think about that if noise is a factor for you the car drives very smooth it has um, a very nice linear power bend and as I said when you're in eco mode which is down here it does um, get good gas mileage and when you're not in eco mode and you're driving at about the speed that I am now and you want to put your foot down it actually has really good pickup let me show you here we go one two three see now it's picking up real quick doesn't take long I mean you can get to pretty high speeds fairly fast for a minivan let me qualify that for a minivan you can get to high speeds fast it's not you're not gonna beat any Mustangs or Camaros in, in, in a minivan let's be realistic unless it's the old-school V6 Mustang pre pre 2010 uh, you see that uh, did you see that um, Challenger go by there another Mopar guys if you haven't watched my Challenger review I have two of them two Challenger RTs a white one and a red one go watch them anyway my overall driving impression of this vehicle is has been very good over the time that I've owned this car I will also say that the price for the vehicle today is very reasonable so I would suggest if you don't want to break the bank and buying a brand new minivan spending 40,000 on up this is one of the best that you can get I would suggest that this is better than getting a Dodge minivan because it usually comes with a little bit nicer trim the Dodge minivan is almost the same but they they're usually uh, lower grade as far as like trim level so that's why the uh, Chrysler typically costs a little bit more but anyway thanks for watching the video if you have any questions let me know I would be glad to answer them um, and as I said hit the show more for the description box and you'll see what score I gave this car uh, I will not be biased I'll give it a realistic score and one thing that I forgot to mention is in the rear of the car you do have a regular plug for an outlet that you use in your house you have another 12 volt you have a couple of auxiliary ports and then you also have US two USBs and an additional uh, HDMI port so there's plenty of connectivity on this vehicle that you and your kids can have lots of fun using okay we're going 30 miles an hour before I end the video let's do one more acceleration clip in the minivan one two three let's go drops down gear shifts extremely fast it shifts way faster than a manual car to be honest even though it's a minivan I do like the gearbox in this in this car it shifts very well go test drive one if you're in the market for one let me know what you think thanks for watching guys I'll see you in the next video